All right, Shalawan. Before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and where I learn this truth. All right, peace and salutations to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai's elect. All right, today is um September the 12th. All right, a day after uh the 20 year anniversary of 9 11. All right, year 2021, hastening the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, come out to prophesy a bit. All right, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Rathaz, it's edifying. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Rathaz, I'm able to stay out here the way I'm usually able to. All right, because I came out here on Friday night. All right, and um, right as I'm setting up, all right, I was out here at about it was probably about 7 30 7 30 ish all right and i come out here all the time you know what i'm saying it ain't nothing i ain't never done before all right but this particular time um the uh the edomite slave patrol all right the police all right he pulls up and he tells me i can't bring it out where i was at he was like uh you can't park right here and bring it out all right when uh, i've been preaching out here teaching out here for over a year it's some change all right and um Everybody parks where they park out here, you know what I'm saying? But all of a sudden, that day, all right, he uh, told me I couldn't park where I was at. All right, and um, he told me I had to park on one of the spots that contained gravel or whatever. All right, and um, everybody, the other cars, they know my, my other spots where I used to bring it out at. So, you know what I'm saying? It was just a, a, a minor setback, all right? <clears throat> so I'm back out here today, all right? You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get it in, all right? How about some y'all start with this eye? Again, this is edifying. All right. A lot of stuff been going on. All right. Um, before I read the scriptures, uh, give an update on where we at as far as prophecy goes. All right. You got Creepy Joe. All right. Uh, making his mandates that um all these businesses that employ more than a hundred people, they need to start um requiring that they people get. You know what I'm saying? For <clears throat> finessed with that Finesse 19, all right, uh, Maxine, all right, in order to work, all right, he even uh, had a statement where he said, uh, I tried, some along the lines of what he say, uh, my patience is wearing thin, or something like that, all right, showing you that Revelation 12, Revelation, I said Revelations, Revelation 12 and 12 is getting ready to uh, take place, all right, uh, it's taking place to a certain degree, but it's going to take place at an even higher crip, all right, I'm, at an even higher clip, so like yeah, I'm stumbling over my words, it's early. Um, more draconian measures are gonna be taken, all right. And you people who are not covered by your whole body, I was size exemption, all right. The mark of uh, exemption from judgment are gonna receive the karagma, which is that incision into the flesh, all right. The digital all he saw is gonna make you do the digital dash, all right, like the uh, <laughs> that Drake and Future song some years back I did the digital dash all right because everything is going digital all right and um two-thirds of our people are slated all right to go out the same way Esau is going out all right whether they receive that mark or not all right the elect of your house from outside is going to exceed it's going to receive the mark of exemption from judgment all right and the two-thirds of our people are going to receive the mark of judgment all right so you got that going on um let me see it's uh but like I said, yesterday was 9-11. All right, you had the people basically remember what happened on that day, which I find funny because you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, go out your way to remember something that happened to these Americans. But you forget what happened to you by these Edomites, all right? You know what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say, though, hand joined in hand with the wicked. They should surely go unpunished, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much where we are, you know what I'm saying? Esau is about ready to implement that that uh the digital all as I as I said a while ago. And once that happens, all right, everything is gonna move fast. And we praying and hoping that if we're not out of here by the end of this year, we out of here sometime next year, all right. It's hard to see this place going into 2023, all right. So the first scripture I'm gonna read is Ezekiel 2, verse and verse 1. <clears throat> And it reads, And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. 
And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. All right, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. All right. And that's still going on right now. All right. The mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh which are the prophets are out on the highways and hedges. All right. Uh, you got the internet. You got um, YouTube. All right. Uh, bit shoot. All different forms and uh, outlets to get this truth. But the only people who um, are going to obtain our report is the elect. All right. Verse 4, it says, For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. All right? So when your judgment comes, you people ain't going to have no excuse. You're going to know that a prophet had been among you. You've heard, you know what I'm saying, righteousness, and you just rejected it. All right? Verse 6, it says, And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. You see, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dwellest among scorpions. All right, so Yahweh Bashem Yahweh called two-thirds of his people scorpions, all right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, back in the ancient time, if you would have called somebody a scorpion, all right, you know what I'm saying? That was like a curse word, all right? Or what, what, what you would call a curse word today, all right? It say, Be not afraid of their words. Nor be, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house, all right? So, Yahweh Shemel Shai told his men to go out and, and preach and speak. And, and, and don't be afraid of what, what the two-thirds got to say, how they got to look. None of that, all right? The scriptures say the Lord made our head hard as your head. All right, even harder. I'm going to read that next. Verse 7 is saying, Thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are rebellious. Right? For they are most rebellious, all right? Let me see, verse 8, it said, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like thy rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee, all right? Verse 9, And when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations mourners and woe all right that's the scriptures all right the good the bad and the ugly all right digest it all all right and then go out and speak all right we go to ezekiel 3 now ezekiel 3 and 1 it say moreover he said unto me son of man eat that thou findest eat this roll and go and speak it to the house of israel all right so understand these scriptures study these scriptures go out and teach preach these scriptures all right and live these scriptures okay verse 2 so i opened my so i opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll and he said unto me son of man cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that i give thee then did i eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness all right so it's uh it's sweet when you first come into the truth you find out that esau is the devil you find out that uh so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans through the seed of your father are the Israelites, the true and only people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the only people that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah love. You understand that the kingdom is for you. You understand? You understand you're gonna have if you're a man, you're gonna have a lot of women in the kingdom. You understand that you're gonna have a lot of slaves. You understand you're gonna just be living it up and you're never gonna go into captivity again. Alright, that's the sweet part of the truth, alright. Verse 4, Ezekiel 3 and 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech and of hard language, but to the house of Israel. You see, uh, not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely I had, surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened to thee. All right, so these other nations, if they would have got these law, statutes, and commandments, they would have already repented and, and, and did what they were supposed to do. But as the scriptures keep set, keep emphasizing and keep stating, all right, the house of Israel is hard-hearted, impounded, all right, hard-headed niggas, all right? Let me see on um, verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. 
for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impugned and hard-hearted. All right, verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their forehead. All right, so all them hard looks, them, them ice grills and all that shit, it don't phase the men of the Lord, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because we see through that, we see through that, uh, that false bravado, all right? That wicked, weak, uh, posterior that you niggas want to put out you know what i'm saying you niggas will get down on your own people but you won't get down on these edomites all right let me see verse uh i read that Wait, did i read verse eight yeah behold i made thy face strong against their faces not forehead strong against their foreheads verse nine as an adamant harder than flint have i made thy forehead forehead fear them not neither be dismayed at their looks though they be a rebellious house all right all right and when you've been in this truth for a little minute and you teach all right you come to find out that the the biggest resistance you get is from your own people all right two-thirds of our people they hate this message all right you know what i'm saying and ultimately they hate yeah how about some outside that's luke 10 and 16 and say he that heareth you heareth me he that despises you despises me, and he that despises me despises him that sent me. So ultimately, two thirds of our people they hate Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, right? They hate the prophets, all right? They killed the prophets, they gave the prophets up, they gave up Yahweh all right? They just wicked spirits, all right? These niggas is just wicked spirits. That's all. That's all they are, wicked Israelite spirits that have to be destroyed and punished on this side, and uh, resurrected and brought back in the kingdom of heaven. Through those that are gonna be saved on this side, all right. I see that truck driving all slow and shit. I think that's his second time riding through here. That motherfucker go. All right. Let me jump down a couple verses of Ezekiel three and seventeen. It reads, "Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth that give them warning from me." All right, so that's what we do. We come out here and we give you your how about smell with size, you know what I'm saying? Message his word, uncut, unfiltered. And rather you hear it from bear, just know that you heard it. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And it's talking about two thirds of our people. And thou givest him not one and nor speakest to one the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. This, so this is how you know this is talking about Jake, all right? The Edomites are the wicked nation on the planet, all right? They are the wicked. But two-thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are considered wicked as well, all right? Jeremiah 5 and 26. I tell you, uh, for among my people are found wicked men. First Maccabees 1 and 11. I tell you, uh, in those days that went there out of Israel, wicked men, all right? So two-thirds of our people are associated with being wicked as well. Verse 19, Ezekiel 3 and 19. Yet if thou will warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. All right, so, again, we, we all, our only duty is to just tell you what time it is, all right? Tell you where you're going, I'll tell you what you need to do to repent, and, and that's it, all right? Whether you hear or forbear, you were told, all right? And a lot of our people are finna find this out the hard way, all right? I'm saying the word then went out the apostles and elders have been on the highways and hedges for over 30 years all right so you know what i'm saying playtime is over all right it's time to get serious if you're not serious all right you know what i mean we at the end of this all right these edomites are becoming more and more get this scripture right here revelation 12 and 12 these edomites are becoming more and more restless all right they're becoming more and more you know what I'm saying? Aggressive, all right? There's a lot of Edomite on Edomite activity taking place, all right? You had, um, just this last week, you had all these Edomites at these different sports arenas and these different um, uh, bars and events, you know what I'm saying? They all were screaming, fuck Joe Biden, all right? You know what I mean? Uh, You had the Edomite on the airplane that, that got kicked off talking about America, talking about Joe Biden. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, this is what they see when they see America, all right? This place is finished, all right? These people are getting ready to destroy each other, all right? You got, uh, and I've did videos on that. You've got, uh, 
Either mice getting their face diaper taped to their face by substitute teachers in these schools. All right, man. It's a whole bunch of wickedness and a whole bunch of sedition that's taking place all right in Esau's kingdom all right because this is his kingdom all right and it's going out the same way he got it all right with violence all right and wickedness all right this is Revelation 12 and 12 it say therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell therein and ye that dwell in them so like you let me start that over all right one second Line up, all right, but I'm, I'm good. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It say, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, which is Esau, is come down unto you, having great wrath, excuse me, because he knoweth he has but a short time, all right. And these devils are the elite bankers, all right. These regular nine to five Edomites that we see and that we encounter and deal with. They don't matter, all right? They're nothing, all right? Joe, Billy, Bob, and, and Richard, all right? They don't matter, all right? They're, they're going to be melted if they even make it to the missiles, all right? Yeah, how about some outside is going to get them out the way in America's destruction, right? They be through the famine, the teeth of beasts, the fowls of the heavens, or whatever type of destruction he brings on them. They don't matter, you know what I'm saying? The elite of Esau, you know what I'm saying? Amalek, the top family of Esau, all right, as well as the elite bankers, all right, the rich, the creme de la creme, those Edomites are the ones, all right, who are the real shot callers and the, and the ones that are going to be the first fruit, blah, those are going to be the first fruits of slavery, all right, you know what I'm saying, these base-ass Edomites we deal with, they're going to be children in the kingdom, all right, they're going to come back through the one-third of E, the one-third elite of E, all right, you know what I'm saying? They're going to come back through them the same way these two-thirds of our people are going to come back through the one-third elite of Jake, all right? You know what I'm saying? The first fruits, all right? Chosen and ordained and predestined for salvation before the foundation of the earth, all right? The Israelites, all right? And you Edomites were chosen, all right, hey, before the foundation of the earth. The top of you Edom, the top of you Edomites were chosen to serve the top of the Israelites, all right? How about that? The scriptures tell you, um, kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Let me get that right quick. Isaiah, what's that? I think it's, I think it's 49. Hold on, I'm going to find it. Let me see. Yeah, Isaiah 49 and 23. They say, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that i am the lord yahweh for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me all right so these elites are going you know what i'm saying be our servants all right you know what i mean the rothschilds uh the rockefellers all right uh, those other elite families, all right, and uh, elite families of these other nations as well, all right, because you got a, a, a elite families that come from Moab, elite families that come from Ammon, elite families that come from Ishmael, elite families that come from the Hamites, uh, the East Indians, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of elite families, all right, you know what I mean? And they're not all prophesied to be destroyed, all right, in the coming destruction, all right? Somebody got to build up the kingdom of heaven. All right, somebody got to bring back all these people that your Bashim Yahweh is going to kill on this side. And you other nations, the elite of your nations are going to do it. All right. Let me see. Uh, let me see. It's another one I'm thinking of dealing with that. Um, let me see. I'm going to read this right quick. This is Revelations 2. And 
I'm gonna start at 25. And it reads, but that which ye have I already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. All right. All of the nations. All right. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. All right. So that, that's, that's good. Let me get Jeremiah 30 and 16 as well. Say, therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, all right, from the elite, all right, to the to the to the least amount, all right, from the top to the bottom. Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, all of them, shall go into captivity, slavery, all right, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that prey upon thee will i give for a prey all right so there you go all right the whole other 17 nations are going into captivity all right and they got a thousand year sentence that they're gonna serve out all right and when that thousand year sentence is up all right the uh, all them nations get to go back to their lands and be tributary and be tributaries unto the israelites except for the Edomites, all right? They don't get to go home, all right? Their home is gonna be, you know what I'm saying, a pit that's gonna be set on fire, all right? They're gonna get Obadiah 1 and 18, all right? We're gonna get all them Edomites together, all right? Every one of them, small and great, you know what I'm saying? Put them in that, put them in that pit, all right? And we're gonna burn them devils up, all right? And it's gonna be no more Edomites. Now, when they spirits return to the Father who gave them, what he decides to do with it from there, we don't know yet. But just know, once Obadiah takes place after the thousand year sentence, all right. Obadiah one and eighteen takes place after that thousand year sentence, all right. It'll never be another Edomite to live or walk this earth again, all right. Gonna knock off the whole house of Edom, all right. That's the oncoming future judgment for you so-called white people, all right. Obadiah, all right. Let me see. But yeah, let's speak a little bit on some more stuff that's been happening. So last night, all right, I, I uploaded a video that was called uh, "When I Grow Up, I Want to Be a Murderer When I Grow Up." All right, and it was basically a little Edomite boy. All right, and he didn't uh told his teacher that he grew in, when he grows up he wants to be a murderer. He said he watches shows about murder and killing people, and it intrigues him. He said uh. When he watches it, the uh, the the stuff makes it, uh, the stuff that he's watching makes lights in his brain go off and it intrigues him. All right, and he he said uh, when he grows up he wants to kill everybody except his family and his teachers. All right, he said he wants to be a murderer. All right, now a couple of days, maybe a day before I made that video, I did a video of uh, on what went down in um I think it's Brevard County. All right, with this wild ass Jake who then got uh. Who then basically pulled his uh his AR his pistol grip pump AR, all right on on, on the Edomite cops all right and, and started shooting at him and shit, all right. They emptied a clip to kill him, all right. You know what I'm saying? You can watch the video. It's up, all right. Uh, they they emptied a clip to kill him and all that. But the uh the dude that was giving the interview about what happened, he made a statement. All right, that that cop made a statement. He said uh for anybody who has a question about why we shot. And overshot, overkill that individual. He said, uh, "Because you can never kill evil enough." All right, and that was a that was a that was some kind of statement to be made. All right, you can never kill evil enough. All right, so when the judgment comes down on the wicked, all right, guess what? We we ain't gonna hold back nothing on you devils neither. All right, when we get you in the kingdom, all right, man, the scripture tell you we ain't gonna show you devils no mercy. All right, you know what I mean? Uh, our mind already meditates terror for what we gonna do to you fucking Edomites, all right? You other nations are gonna catch it, but you ain't gonna catch it the way E gonna catch it, all right? We gonna remember all of the shit that that nigga said over here, all of the shit that that nigga did over here, and we gonna recompense it to him, all right? The scriptures even say, uh, put some interest on that thing, all right? Uh, recompense double to him, all right? 
So you 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 either might just be ready to to pay for statements like that. All right, this nigga gonna say you can never kill evil enough. Well, you make sure you stand on that statement when it's time for you devils to get your judgment. All right, because it's coming. All right, the men of the Lord. <clears throat> you how about some the I'm of that number, but whoever those men be that are of that number are gonna get down with you devils during Jacob's trouble as well. Now Jake, two thirds of Jake, they gonna fight you devils, but you gonna be able to kill some of them. You know what I'm saying? Why they trying to kill you? But the men of the Lord say, you how about some is gonna lift up that standard? All right, you gonna have the angels defending certain men. You gonna have certain men with spiritual powers. All right, your house by me outside is gonna open up the uh, the other realm. All right, where you got uh, strange apparitions. All right, you're gonna have these teeth of beasts attacking and defending the men of the Lord. All right, it's gonna be so much hell coming towards you, Edomites, from the men of the Lord that you're gonna know when you see them to get the fuck away. You know what I'm saying? You you can have your way with them two third niggas, but you're not gonna have your way with the men of the Lord. All right, now it is. In the scripture that uh a certain amount of men that that are for you how about your are gonna be martyrs for this truth. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know what I'm saying, the elect is gonna be preserved, delivered, all right, and living good, all right. Is it gonna be uncomfortable? Yes, but the scriptures also say, My servant shall eat, my servant shall have abundance, my servant shall rejoice, all right. This is Ezekiel 25 and 12. It says, Thus said the Lord power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself. All right, damn. Uh, Slack here. And they number Satan. All right, the prince of the air. All right, and had. Start that again. Ezekiel 25 <clears throat> and verse 12. Thus said the Lord power your house by Shemel Shai. Because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, that therefore thus said the Lord power your house by Shemel Shai. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. Alright, so saying that all you tribes of E, all right, you German Edomites, uh, what's that, uh, all the house of Esau, all right, are gonna fall by the sword, all right, verse 14, it say, and I will lay vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do it, Edom, according to mine anger and according to mine fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power, you how about some all right, so there you go. All right, one second. I can... <laughs> Shit, it's allergy season. Just bear with me. All right, I'm gonna get through it. Just saying, bear with me. With all this shit flying everywhere. We gonna get it done though. All right. So now I'm gonna go. Uh, so I'm dealing with, you know what I'm saying, Jake being a terror to Esau. Let me go to Jeremiah 50 and get it also. What's Jeremiah 51? Get the fuck off me. Alright, so lucky about that. I'm sorry. Just allergies. Alright, this is Jeremiah 51 and 20. It reads, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Verse 21. And with thee will I break in pieces <clears throat> the horser. I'm just like the horser. My bad. Jeremiah 15 and 21. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. All right. Right. Verse 22, <clears throat> with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid, all right? So it ain't going to be no love in these streets, all right? When the men of the Lord get raised up, man, say, we, we coming, all right? 
Lord willing, how about some your side again? I'm on that number. <clears throat> and the two thirds, like I said, uh, your how about some your side is gonna be uh, working on their minds and making them fight as well. All right, you know what I'm saying? These wild jakes is gonna get down with Esau and they're gonna fuck Esau up as well. All right, the two thirds of, of Jake is gonna fight these Edomites and these heathen over here, and it's gonna be a bloodbath. All right. Jeremiah 51 and 23, I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee, I will break in pieces the husband, the husbandman, and his yoke of oxen. And with thee, I will break in pieces captains and rulers. All right, so these military troops and shit, you know what I'm saying? The scripture tell you that these these uh these devils are gonna come in like a flood, all right. And when they come in like a flood, that's when that standard is gonna get lifted. All right, your how about your side is gonna show, all right, these 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 nations and their armies that they stand no match to deal with his men, all right, and and those that he's protecting. All right, it's like yeah, I'm distracted from these fucking flies and shit. All right, one second. Okay, it's lucky about that document getting a little bit too unbearable at that point in time but i'm i'm good this is second Ezra 15 i'm gonna start at verse one it say behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth said the lord all right so this is like the same thing we was reading in ezekiel 2 and 3 all right verse 2 and call them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true verse 3 fear not the indignations against thee oh no it's like fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness all right two-thirds behold said the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction all right and that's gonna hit america you know what i'm saying like a ton of bricks all right it's gonna catch you people off guard and everything all right let me see for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Alright, so, you know what I'm saying? Wickedness is reached up into the heavens. Alright, it's judgment time now. Alright, verse 7, Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. Alright, the souls of the just or the Israelites, all right, really the elect of Israel, because the two third, even though when he's in the spirit world, he's in his right mind, and he's complaining before the throne of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, he's still in a two third light when he comes back down here. But the one third and the elect, when they go to the spirit world, they are in their light, which is better than the two thirds light, all right. So you, know, you take that how you want to take it, all right. <clears throat> verse 9 and therefore said the lord i will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them verse 10 behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter i will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of egypt all right but i will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land that will show you but this is talking about a new egypt all right the, the same plagues and stuff that went down in ancient Egypt are gonna get are gonna be taking place here, but on a higher clip. All right, you know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say, I say this all the time. Um, the deliverance is gonna be so spectacular and miraculous that we're no longer gonna speak about our deliverance from ancient Egypt, which we still talk about to this time. So, if the deliverance is gonna outdo that deliverance, then that means the curses have to outdo the curses from then. All right. It would only make sense that it be that way. All right, verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall bring upon it. All right, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting of in hell and with a fearful consolation. Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, so... The plagues are going to take place all over the world, all right? Now, is the whole world going to be destroyed through the thermonuclear missiles? No. But is plagues going to hit all over the earth? Absolutely, all right? Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, 
And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right, you people are getting ready to fight. All right. See, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. All right. So these politicians, these governors, these senators, all right, creepy Joe, all right, even your, uh, the, the, the police and, uh, people that on a lower level under the senators and shit, ain't nobody going to be listening to them no more. All right. It's going to be all out. Mayhem in these streets, every man for itself. Get it how you live. You know what I'm saying? In these streets. Verse 17 A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, martial law. It's going to be so bad. All right, that the military troops are going to have to be in the streets. Uh, Esau's robot dogs and uh, robot police and robot military, they're going to be in the streets. All right, shooting you people uh, on, on a. On a drop of a dime all right because the reason he saw has them them uh them robots is because he knows sometimes you people you get flaky all right you get emotional you get com compassionate all right you you get bitchified all right he saw don't want that he saw want to want a nigga to do exactly what he say when he say it how he say it and, and that's it and them, them, and them robots gonna be programmed they're gonna be doing that all right you people have brains all right I'm saying you people have consciousness and shit, all right. Esau don't want that. Esau want a killing machine that's down to do his will, all right. His will, your hands, all right. Make it happen. That's what Esau looking for. Let me see on um, verse 18 for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. God damn it. Slacky, I can poop on my ear, bro. Ah, I hate this bullshit. These damn bugs, so I can not not teaching. Of course, not teaching. I love teaching. I'm talking about just damn nets, and they fucking fly on me and shit. So I keep about that. This is Second Ezra, 15 and 18. It says, "For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid." Verse 19: A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right terrible times, all right? You know what I'm saying? There ain't gonna be a whole lot of food out here. You know what I'm saying? Your how about some outside is gonna turn the lights off in this place, all right? Remember it was dark in ancient Egypt? All right? The, the lights is gonna go out in this place as well, all right? And again, it's lucky if uh, y'all hear me dealing with the elements, all right? It's part of the battle. You know what I'm saying? I accept it. I'm with it. It's just, man, that damn net almost flew in my fucking ear and I, that buzzing sound is just Brought that reaction out of me. Alright. So like, you know. But this is part of the plight, alright? Coming out making your body a living sacrifice, alright? You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the elements, alright? Dealing with the, the heat, the uh the grass, you know what I'm saying? Most of all the people, if they come up and inquire, but you know what I'm saying, just making your body a living sacrifice for your how about some house shot, alright? But yeah, like like the scripture just said a while ago, um, it's gonna be great tribulations taking place on this earth, all right. And the only people who are gonna be laughing during that tribulation is gonna be the elect, all right. The scriptures say uh, in Proverbs one, all right. At the, no, not, not Proverbs one. Um, that's Job, Job five. Let me get it right quick. When it tell you yeah, destruction, man, family and destruction, thou shalt laugh. Let me get it right quick. Job 5, I'm going to start at uh, 19. It say, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the, of the sword. Yeah, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scrubs of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. All right? At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. There you go. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. All right. So again, as I was telling you earlier, the fucking bee. All right. Uh, as I was telling you earlier, the men of the Lord are gonna be rejoicing and, and having abundance. All right. 
during the times of uh, Jacob's trouble, but two thirds of our people are gonna be as uh, the men are gonna be as women, and the women are gonna be, you know what I'm saying, sitting on the ground pissing and moaning, all right, because these niggas that they with, all right, for the most part, are gonna get put to death, all right, and they are gonna be themselves ravished, all right, as it says in um, Isaiah 13 and 16, it says, uh, I'm gonna read that next, all right. Verse uh, 23, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. All right, so these animals, they're going to be defending the, the elect, all right? Let me see. Um, I just quoted Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah 13. These are all future prophecies, all right? Isaiah 13, I'm going to start at 15. It says, Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if you join unto to the American way, you're going to fall by the sword, all right? Verse 16, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, all right? So a lot of you women are going to get raped, all right? A lot of you proud sluts of America, you know what I'm saying? You Israelite women, all right? Israelite by heritage women, but heathen women by culture, but by lifestyle, all right, you're going to get raped out here, all right? You know what I mean? These troops going to come over here, and they're going to they gonna, they gonna do it to you, all right? Isaiah 13 and 17, it say, Behold, I will stir up the meads against them which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So you ain't going to be buying your way out of this, all right? You are not going to buy your way out of this. Verse 18, their bows also shall dash the young man to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children, all right? And this is uh, when, the, when the missiles drop, but it's also going to be that way during, you know what I'm saying, the martial law, all right? You think these foreign troops going to give a damn about, you know what I'm saying, your little wicked-ass children and, 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 and you protecting them and shit? Absolutely not, all right? If you're a looker and you're a woman, all right, they're going to have their way with you. And you have to remember, this place, America, is spiritual Sodom in Egypt, all right? So a lot of you men are going to get raped as well, all right? You know what I'm saying? Esau don't give a damn, all right? That nasty-ass devil put that nasty red rod wherever he can put it, all right? You know what I'm saying? And he shows you that throughout history, all right? Look at his jail system, all right? Look at how he runs a, his prison system, all right? You know what I'm saying? Look at it. Look at how he runs his sports leagues. All right, he puts all his athletes, all right, in a one room to uh, undress in front of each other, to shower in front of each other. All right, he does the same thing with uh, does the same thing in prison. All right, he puts all you men in one area, takes away women. All right, and 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 and, and leaves you men to turn each other into women, turn each other into pleasure. All right, that's that's the mindset that this nigga has. All right, you know what I'm saying Esau is a buck breaking, rump wrangling, red devil. All right, that's what that nigga is. All right, and fuck him if he gets mad. All right, you know what I'm saying it's just the truth. All right, don't get mad at me because you in the butthole pleasures and all of that wickedness. All right, that's what Esau gets off on. All right. And two thirds of our people, they've adapted to that mentality as well. You niggas pop your woman up her butt. You niggas let your woman put her finger and her tongues up your rectum. All right, you niggas are basically black Edomites. All right, spiritual Edomites. All right, I'm saying it that way because you do have real black Edomites, but you niggas are spiritual Edomites. All right, you niggas have learned the ways of the heathen and and, and have surpassed the heathen. All right, you know what I'm saying. You niggas can teach these heathen. And these red devils are thing or two about being wicked, all right? Jake, Jake excels in everything. He even excels in his wickedness, all right? And that's why Jake is going to die the death of a heathen. With these heathen, all right? You fuckers, get out of here. All right. But stand with the lesson, all right? I don't want to get distracted. Let me get back in it. Let me see. Um. First Thessalonians. Alright. Let me see. First Thessalonians. 
chapter 5 and verse 3, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a woman. I mean, as so like, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. So you people ain't going to be escaping the judgments of your house by Shemel Shai. All right. You people are going to fall in them judgments. All right. How about Shemel Shai? It's a terrible power that loves judgment. All right. So like about that. You know what I'm saying? Our Lord loves judgment. All right. The scriptures even tell you in Psalms uh, 9 and 16, the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, is known by the judgment in which he executed. All right. And a lot of our people, they finna find that out. You know what I'm saying? The worst way possible, all right? And I know we say this. It seems like if you watch our videos, you probably like, man, they say the same thing every week. They always say this. They always say that. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep that mentality, all right? Keep that energy, all right? Because, you know what I'm saying? You have to be told something so many times. for So when it does finally happen and it hits you like a ton of bricks, you know what I'm saying? You don't have no excuse, all right? You're going to be destroyed in your mental behind it because you're going to be like, man, I heard them dudes say that same, as you niggas would say, we heard them say that same shit every week, every week, every week, every week. America going to be destroyed. This going to happen. This going to happen. This going to happen. And then it ain't happened yet. But then when it does happen, you know what I'm saying? You niggas ain't going to know what to think, all right? And we right here close to that, all right? You know how about some outside is going to take the men of the Lord off the streets, all right? And it ain't going to be no more scoffing and mocking and, and, and all of that shit, all right? You niggas is going to have to get it how you live, all right? Let me see. Uh, you niggas going to have to choose the devices and stand on what you what you think you know, all right? Stand with the multitude of your sorceries, all right? This is Amos 8 and 11. Shit, bro. It's like these motherfuckers are attracted to me. I know you motherfuckers love the men of the Lord, but goddamn, get off me. Let me let me do the work right now. Alright. This comes with being uh hey, it say the the beasts of the earth are gonna be at peace with us. Hey, they not stinging me or no shit like that. They just keep flying on me and shit. Alright. It's all good. It's Amos eight and eleven. It say, Behold, the days come, said the Lord power you how about some outside, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of your how about some outside power all right and how do you hear the words of your how about some outside power through the prophets all right you know what i'm saying scripture tell you in luke 1 and 70 as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began all right luke 10 and 16 he that heareth you heareth me uh amos 3 and 7 Surely the Lord Power will do nothing but He reveals His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. All right, uh, and many more, many more scriptures. All right, scripture tell you the Lord had established the testimony in Jacob. All right, and in order to have a testimony, you got to have what testicles. All right, balls. All right, so you women, you know I'm saying, just throw that out there. You women are not prophets. All right, you know what I'm saying. Now, do you women get visions? Of course. All right, but that does not make you a prophet or a prophetess, all right? Your dream or your vision has to be interpreted by a man of the Lord for you to get understanding, all right? Now, does the Lord show women in some cases, all right, what he wants them to do right then and there? Of course, but you know what I'm saying? For the most part, it's going to have to be interpreted, <laughs> interpreted and broke down. By one of your how about some outsized men, all right? As the scriptures say, the flock of my pastor, men, all right? You know what I'm saying? Unto you, sons of men, uh, do the Lord call, all right? Israelites, all right? Chosen, elect Israelites at that, all right? Two thirds of our people, you know what I'm saying? They just here. Oh, excuse me. This car been sitting right there. Let's see if y'all can see him. Yeah, right there. That car has been sitting right there for a minute, bro. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. That car, all right, they just parked right there. They just started sitting there, you know what I'm saying? I told you, I've been having a lot of shit go down the last couple of times I've been out here, but it's all good, all right? 
part of the battle, man. All right. You know what I mean? All right. So let me see. Get some more scriptures on. And yeah, how about you now? Sarah Desire is edifying, all right? You know what I'm saying? I know I get a little long-winded, and I've been a little distracted with these, dealing with the elements. But again, you know, your how about you now? Sarah Desire is edifying. All right. All right. So let me continue. Get another scripture. Let me go to Daniel. Chapter 12 and verse 1. This is what's come, what we're coming into, all right? This is uh, just like Jeremiah 30 and 7, all right? When it speaks of Jacob's trouble, Daniel 12 and 1 is talking about the same time, all right? This is Daniel 12 and 1, and at that time, shall Michael stand up, all right? Michael, the archangel, all right? The archangel, so I can put that, the archangel. Stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy for the children of thy people. Get the fuck out of here. See, you made me kill you. I didn't want to kill you, but you flew too close to me. All right. Anyway, it's a, um, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that time. I mean, even to that same time. And at that time, Thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book, all right? The book of life, all right? And only the elect are found written in that book, all right? Two-thirds, all right? Where those, um, what it's saying, Second Ezra 9, um, let the multitude perish that was born in vain, all right? Those are the two-thirds. But the one-third elect, all right, those are the spirits that were chosen before the foundation of the earth, all right? go to Jeremiah 30, back to Jeremiah 30 and 7, because we read Jeremiah 30 and 16, <clears throat> showing that uh, all the heathen are going into slavery. Jeremiah 30 and 7 say, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And the he that is speaking of is the elect, all right? Two-thirds of our people are going to perish during Jacob's trouble, all right, over here in America. All right, but yeah, two thirds of our people they're gonna perish during Jacob's trouble. All right, in Jacob's trouble. When I say the two thirds that are gonna perish during Jacob's trouble, that's gonna take place right here in America. All right, um, Zechariah 13 and 8 tells you, um, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's talking about over here in America. Now, you Israelites, you wicked Israelites around the world, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get your judgment too. But when we're talking about the two-thirds, we're dealing with uh, America, all right? You Jakes over here in sweet old America, all right? Which this bitch ain't sweet no more, all right? You know what I'm saying? Goodbye, American pie, all right? That shit is over, all right? It's bitter now, all right? Yeah, the book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 24, and it reads, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. All right, and America is divided against itself, all right? Verse 25, And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. All right, and Esau, you're at the end, all right? This is it, all right? Like Lil' Milton said, you at the end of the rainbow. All right, and it ain't no pot of gold waiting on you. All right, it's just chains. All right, chains and whips. All right, you know what I'm saying. And uh, what the scripture say? Uh, we gonna have that scepter and we gonna dash you motherfuckers into shivers. All right, that's what's waiting on you, Edomites. All right, you know what I'm saying. You in your heaven right now. All right, 
the last minutes of your heaven that that is all right okay okay so now you know what i'm saying we wind it down toward the uh the end of the lesson um we go to revelations 13 and 16 and we're gonna deal with that before we close it out this is revelation 13 and 16 it say, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, all right? And that mark is the karagma, all right, the incision, all right, the digital all, all right, the microchip. That's what Esau is going to put, all right, in you people. That's what he's going to have to put in you people, because if you pay attention to what he's saying right now, all right, Esau got it to where if you ain't got a Finesse 119 card, all right, uh... You can't really travel and you really can't go to a lot of places, all right? And Esau is doing that for a reason, all right? And he's, he's it's, it's a, because he understands and he knows that you people love your freedom and you people are going to continue to try to think think that you're outwitting the system by getting fake cards and all of that that comes with that. That's actually playing into Esau's hand, all right? He wants you people to get the fake cards and all of that shit, all right? That way he can say, look, if people are saying that they this and when they're really not, People are saying they got it when they really don't, and it's fucking it up for those that really do got it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement a chip into you people, all right, to uh to state whether you have it or not. And on that chip, he's talking be able to put your, you know what I'm saying, your medical history, your driver's license, your uh your employee, your employment pass, everything, all right. That chip is gonna basically be you. It's gonna be your new identification card, all right. It's going to be you basically bowing your knees to say that Esau is your new red daddy and that you pledge your allegiance to him, all right? You know what I'm saying? For you Jakes, anybody who ain't an Israelite, do what you do. It don't matter whether you take it or not. If you on the swords of America, your ass is going to burn, all right? Period. The only people who will be spared from the oncoming judgment that's going to take place in America is the elect, all right? But uh, two thirds of our people, they're gonna take it, all right. If they even make, if they even make it to that point, all right. Because coming in the next couple of weeks, Esau got some shit coming, all right. You can't just say exactly what it is, but this devil has some shit coming in the next couple of weeks, all right. And it's gonna knock a lot of you Jakes out the box before the party even really starts. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you Jakes are gonna get, you know what I'm saying, xed out before the, the real party even starts, all right. A lot of you Jakes are full of that. That jungle juice right now, all right. All Esau got to do is flip a switch, you know what I'm saying, and have you niggas going crazy, all right. All right, uh, and yeah, he's gonna put the money on it as well. That's what I, that's the other part. Uh, he's gonna have the money on it, all right, because this place is going into a digital system, all right. You know what I mean? And you gotta have the digital all if you want to do the digital dash, all right. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that. All right, verse 17, Revelation 13 and 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, all right? Let's see, all right, verse 18, here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six, all right, 666. And that's in all of Esau's barcodes, all right? You know what I'm saying? We go to uh, Revelation 14 and 9, showing you what's going to come to you, to you, to you, Jakes, all right, who received this mark, all right? Revelation 14 and 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man, let's see, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by smell of power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right, so you take that chip, you know what I'm saying? You're going to backstroke in the nuclear fire. All right, you're going to be. Hey, you, you're going to get melted, as it says in Ezekiel 22 and 20, all right? Y'all about to smell size, going to melt your ass, all right? You might get hit with a missile, or you might get hit with a laser beam from the chariot and turn into some 
black and brown dust, all right? But just know your ass ain't getting on a chariot and just know you ain't getting delivered, all right? So that's pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? All right, today is, uh, again, September the 20th. Today is September the 12th. Year 2021, hastening the coming of your house by some All right, we praying and hoping that this is our last year in this captivity. All right, if not, uh, this be our last year. We praying that this coming year, 2022, will be our last year. All right, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. All right, Lord willing, this was it. I'm gonna close it out. Give out the glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakatadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and where I learn this truth. All right. And again, so like you forgive me for my spitting, sneezing, and hawking. All right. It's allergies and all of this shit that's flying up from this grass. All right. But Kwam Yasharala, Bible Ball, Shalom. Try to be out here again this Wednesday.